Okay, the tables have turned, and I'll tell you why. This weekend, Russians head to the ballot boxes for the country's presidential election. They will do so knowing that one man is almost certain to win. But before they do, the Russian state media has published a stark warning from Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service, SVR. Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service has accused the U.S. President Joe Biden's administration of attempting to meddle in Russia's upcoming presidential election. Without offering evidence, the intelligence service says the Biden administration is using NGOs to affect voter turnout. And according to the agency, the U.S. is trying to undermine the election results by dissuading voters from going to the polls. The warning comes in the lead up to Russia's presidential election that will be held from March 15th to March 17th. This year's election will see a remote online voting system for the first time in the polls. The election results will be announced shortly afterwards. And in May, the winner will be inaugurated as president of the country. Voting will also take place in what Russia calls its new territories. These are parts of Ukraine now controlled by Russian forces that have been placed under Russian law. Moscow launched early voting for the presidential election on Sunday in the city of Donetsk in its a controlled region in the eastern Ukraine. I came to take part in early voting for the president, and I'm very proud of it. I'm proud that I can take part in the life of Russia. It's a big honor for me. I've been waiting for this a long time. During his 24-year in power, Russian President Vladimir Putin has kept a tight hold on Russia's political system. If successful, Putin will be winning another six-year term, cementing his place in power until 2030. Challenging the Russian president in these elections are Nikolai Kharitanov of the Communist Party, Leonid Slotsky of the Nationalist Liberal Democratic Party, and Vladislav Davankov of the New People Party, who will aim to avoid Putin from seeking a fifth term in office. For all the latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.